Yeah, hello, welcome to this broadcast. I hope you all managed to be here on time because it's a bit of an unusual time, at least if you're in Europe. Yeah, we haven't had the daylight, um, what is that, daylight saving time change? Yeah, the D DST in, um, in, uh, in the US. We didn't have that yet in Europe, so it's slightly confusing for the European viewers. It's the same time as usual for the American ones, but in Europe it's one hour earlier. Okay, let's get going with some games of chess. I'm really looking forward to play some Game games. Started. I haven't played today at all, so maybe kick off with the king pawn. Playing FM Meditator. Okay. I always get requests for the king's gambit. Okay, let's do one king's gambit. <laughs> and see what happens. I scored with that in in the live streams, but uh, oh, someone is going for g5. <laughs> yeah, what is the move? I think it's h4, right? I think this is probably better than bishop c4, but from here it all gets very shady. I think this is also a move. They go d5 now, if I'm not mistaken. Bishop d6 and then d4. But around here, it, <laughs> it gets very, very... Uh, I have no idea. There is some knight h5 sometimes. And think why just castles, even though it looks wacky. I think your castle here, even though, as I said, it looks completely bonkers. Huh. Queen takes h4. How am I not losing there? What a what a weird opening. I really often wonder what the point is. <laughs> How? What is that? I think it's castles, but... Uh, it looks completely weird. Um, queen takes h4. How am I not losing there? Queen e1 maybe. But I'm two pawns down. <laughs> or one pawn. No, I'm one pawn, two pawns down. Hmm. What? What is there? Can I... But if I don't castle, he plays knight g3, right? This is... This is looking also totally insane. I probably have to castle him, even though it looks completely, completely terrible. <laughs> Queen h4, how am I not losing there? Queen e1 maybe really, yeah? and he takes, rook takes, Queen e1. If I take on f, I really have to invent this opening now here over over the board. I have no idea. If I play bishop f4, he has g3, right? And I'm losing. Right. <laughs> uh, how am I not losing there? Bishop f4, g3. Hmm. Or can I play bishop takes g3 then? Knight takes... Pff, I don't get it. g3, how do I not lose here? I probably wonder, so what is this guy? <laughs> he's probably he's completely in shock what I'm doing here, I guess. Hmm. How am I not losing? Bishop uh, g3, knight g3, this, this queen h1. Mm. 
Rook e1. Rook e1 check. It's also totally, totally losing. Anyway. Check. Nah, the king's gambit. Check. <laughs> Check. The king's gambit is not not an opening you should play if you have no idea. And probably you shouldn't play it if you have an Check. idea. <laughs> uh, anyway, so he will probably just move the king now. And I also have no time. This is particularly cool. Rook f1, I'm down a piece and some pawns. I have no time and my king is on c3. That's the king's gambit, folks. Ooh. Check. Yeah, but please, this is this will be the only totally wacky opening for the session. I want to win a game, <laughs> at least now and then. Hmm. Not sure that knight d5 was the best move. Maybe it is. Well, if I get in queen h5, I actually have some, some ideas. Hmm, okay. I'm not sure that he played this the best possible way, but I'm probably still losing completely, but at least I have, have some kind of idea now. Rook takes f7. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Check. Yeah, I have to take with this, unfortunately. Otherwise, I mate it on c2. But I have a mate threat now. I have a mate thread. He's got queen um, to d5 though. Yeah. Well, I have check here. Check. I have a check. Time warning. Oh, he's playing this in a strange way. Queen b5 might still check. win though. I have d3 and I'm threatening rook takes d3 now. <laughs> Somehow this game is still on. You can maybe check on b no, you check on b4, bishop d3, bishop takes d2. That might win, but. Check. Okay. Wow. Ah, it's. I was thinking it's a check. It's not a check. Oh, I'm a total moron. Ah, I still I had a position again. Ah, and now I blundered the queen. Ah, what check. a game. I had a completely okay position again, I think. And then I blundered the bloody queen. Oh my goodness. God damn. Check. <laughs> uh, I'm a full queen down here, right? But he played that so so weird. I don't want to want to give up. I really had an okay position again from that completely Check. losing nonsense I had I had at the beginning. So I feel I should continue here. No, I, this is protected. What am I doing? <laughs> ah, what a cool game. I swear I'm Check. not drunk. Absolutely not. I didn't drink a single Check. beer or anything. Yeah? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Check. <laughs> okay, I have to resign that game. So this much for the for the comedy. 
for the comedy of this evening. I think I should play a little bit better now. <laughs> okay. Ah, that was crazy. Games. And every, I had a, I had a position again. This was this was the, the weirdest part. Yeah. After after that totally totally moronic opening. <laughs> okay. So let's let's uh, let's try to get a um, get a decent game here against Flama Sevita, whoever that is. But it's he's high rated. Yeah, Ricardo Rodriguez says, good game. This is a funny way to put it. I think that was a rotten game. But um, I think it was probably... It had some 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 comedic value, yeah? Okay, so what is he doing here? Maybe here. I tried to make C5 tough to play or impossible to play. We'll see if I manage. Yeah, it doesn't look like this is out of the question. If I get it e5 and uh, knight e4 or knight b3, this is possible. b4 is somewhat weakened, but um, the most important thing still is the c5 square. Okay, bishop to b4. So I think I'm going to place it here. If I get in knight c5, that would be desirable. Hmm, right here or knight e5 is also a move, but I think I think I'll jump in. Okay, is a five a move that helps? Probably not that much. Yeah, probably just rook c one. Ninety seven. He might have ninety seven here. But okay, I can take on b7 and grab c6. Yeah, the move a5 is probably not doing much good. Hmm. Queen b3. I can go queen b3. This is not a bad move. Yeah, maybe do that. Just just insist on him taking. Okay, maybe he can go a5 actually. Huh. He can go a5, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he can go a5. I didn't really appreciate this that 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 clearly. Okay, a5 is not not all great. I mean, it makes c5 for him tougher to play. Okay. Yeah, here I have to take probably on d7. And now, well, I cannot take, but I can do this. Threatening a takes b5. And c5, I can take b5, I guess. Or c5 and b5, okay, grips there. Yeah, c5 is still not possible. I'm having this uh, under control. I wonder if I should move the move this somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wonder if he has some kind of c5 anyway, but I don't think so. Yeah, it looks okay for white, but I don't quite see how to improve. He has a hard time to play c65, so... But what am I doing? Just goes back. Maybe he wants to go bishop f6. I can go e5, that's not a big deal. Okay, well, I can go bishop d3, e4, maybe, but I'm still kind of worried that he goes c5. Yeah, I still have to do that. It's the only way forward. Okay, now I can take and play bishop e4. Seems like he's losing a pawn. I'm not sure how he should lose it. C5 gives me a, a good C pawn. And otherwise it also yeah, looks very difficult to defend if I take if I get to just take c6. Yeah, I don't really see a good defense for black here. Maybe rook, rook c8 trade something. This one, okay. Mm, interesting. Okay, I cannot really keep it. Check. So probably have to have to try to attack F7 here. Rook F8 is a blunder. So okay, that was interesting. Interesting way of playing it. He tries to. He will get the pawn on E5, and this is uh, has some fortress-like qualities, definitely. Covering the pawn there nicely on f7. I mean, he, he cannot do much. It is a purely defensive setup, but it's a sturdy one. Ah, someone says the stream stopped. Okay. Maybe this is some issue on my end. Yeah, let me let me let me see if I can do something here. I probably have Time to morning. have to do something here. I sometimes have a problem here with the with the disk space. Let me let me check one thing here. Will be a little bit tricky for that game. I cannot do everything at the same time. It's back now. Okay. Yeah, I, I have lost time here, unfortunately, because of that. I've I've managed to trade a rook, which is very helpful. Let me see, it might be a draw still, but let's see. Check. 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 Uh, shoot, didn't see that one. Check. 
checkmate. Okay, I was a bit lucky with the time. Um, okay, so let me see. Um, I finished the game and I will check something, something uh, briefly now. I want to check if I've got everything covered here. Let me check. Sorry, it takes a moment, but I want to make sure that I'm not running out of disk space or stuff like that. Okay, so my disk space should be okay now and uh, I'm ready for the next game. I hope that the stream is reliable now. Um, okay, um, let's see if there are questions. Uh, advice for a player with around 1600 rating who gets good results with one D4 Game. with white but Sorry. often gets bad positions out of the opening with black. Hmm, that's not so easy to say. It's um, it, I would need to see games to make a really good guess there. If you play 1d4 and enjoy kind of, let's say, tidy strategic positions, so this is sometimes the case um, with d4 players, it might be that you play too sharply with black and have to find something a little bit more strategically focused, but it's, it's really, really difficult. Um, okay. There's a question. Is it necessary to have a chess-based package to be a serious chess player? Well, not, not necessary, but it is something... Yeah, after reaching a certain level, it will be very difficult without a database. It is simply very, very useful. You have nowadays good... Um, good uh, web resources but um, it's still not the same as a database so probably um, it's it's hard to get by without one um, is it worth getting the ICC membership for around 1600 player well it it definitely is something to consider because ICC has got really um, excellent um, playing um, opportunities. You just get many, many games quickly and uh, and uh, this is uh, much easier than on other sites. What might be a more strategically focused opening for black, kind of a d4 equivalent? Um, yeah, the, the difficult thing is always it depends. It depends a little bit. There are many strategically focused uh, possible replies, but uh, they are also all very different, yeah? Even the King's Indian could be played as a very strategic kind of opening, even though it has the reputation of being being sharp. Um, it's a little bit, um, it depends a little bit. Do you want simplified position? Do you want a position that is more strategic in nature, but more complex? This is all kind of different. Uh, you can play the Slav, for example, in a very, strategic kind of fashion but you can also play it in a super sharp way so it's it's not so easy to say many players play the slav and uh, kao kan defense yeah, against e4 and d4 who want a strategic game but i also uh, am more of a strategist and i don't play those openings I mean, I do play them occasionally, but not regularly. I, I enjoy those like, positions like this, yeah, with many pieces on the board where you can maneuver and so on. This is what I enjoy m more, which doesn't stop me from sometimes blundering a pawn <laughs> on b5. It's almost gone. <laughs> Yeah, with free web resources, I mean, stuff like chessgames.com and so on. I mean, these are resources that um, at least um, can help you to find games or get information. And there are there are more resources. You can also, I think, Chess Tempo has, has, has things.
but um, I'm not super well informed. All those things I basically do with the database. If I want to kind of look at a certain line or position, I will I will use I use chess space. Okay, I have to cover this. He takes he has taken on c5. This is nowadays happening rather frequently in this opening, but still it caught me a little bit by surprise in that precise position. Um, I absolutely don't mind further trades here. Yeah, Sebastian is right. There, there are a couple of, a couple of database resources. There are also um, other database programs uh, other than Chessbase, like SID, which is something that I have looked looked into. But if you, I mean, I'm I'm a Chessbase user since uh, the very first version. Yeah, the Chessbase one, one point zero, and uh, back then um, it didn't even have. Uh, variations or whatever it just had the pure games and um, I'm kind of so used to the software it's it's difficult for me to switch to something else okay this is a complex position I think I would like to trade the heavy pieces then I should be completely fine it's it seems yeah this is possible but I wasn't sure if this is actually good for him. I mean, it also weakens white quite a bit. Now he basically has to trade. I mean, he can go back. I'm sorry. Yeah, he can go back. But I don't think this is netting much. Yeah, actually, at chess base 1.0. 19, uh, 19, uh, 1988 on the... Atari, so it was on the Atari ST, not on the PC. Which uh, really sounds kind of wacky nowadays, but it it was uh, it started on the Atari and only later switched to PC. Okay, so I have a interesting position here, and in fact I have more time, and now I have a pawn. <laughs> he didn't pay attention to knight a4 um b3 no i think i'll just take this then yeah i'm a bit lucky that he blundered b2 i mean the, i think the end game was good anyway but this this way it uh, it's it's just a uh, it's just probably winning. Yeah, maybe that wasn't so precise actually. Okay, I mean it's not bad, but you could argue that maybe I had a better alternative. Now I can promote. Is he is he trapping this? I don't see it. Okay. Check. Bishop be six, huh? And d7, no. I have a bishop on f6. Yeah, I have a bishop on f6, so that's not a big problem. And okay, let's go over to b4. White resigns. Okay, second win against Flama Civita. Played this guy two times now. Game started. And now G. Bianchi. I, I always seem to play me on the stream, eh? kind of every Monday. Okay. Going for a quick e3, d4. Against that early bishop b7. This is not a bad, um, bad setup. Okay, going into some kind of Benoni now. I'm losing a move here with e3, e4, but black is not very happy with his b6 and um, bishop to b7 either. Maybe this one makes bishop g7 a little bit more difficult to, um, to play. Okay, I wonder, this is a position where queen to e2 is interesting. 
trying to immediately irritate black. I'm, I'm trying this. The idea is e5, just killing basically, opening up queen e5 and so on. This is known from some Benoni setups. Not sure about it here, but it, it could be very irritating for black. Now oh, there's a question by Victorek Skarl, if I can play that that old line, which you hated but still played. <laughs> yeah, he refers to my old Shigorin, Rui. I really don't want to play that. <laughs> It really isn't great, and uh, I think I mostly bore people with that line. Okay, so bishop f8, how to do that now? Queen to d2 maybe, keeping, keeping him from castling. Okay, so I think I'll go for a4 now. So that b5 is not happening. Queen f6 there yeah. mm, for queen to g7, maybe. Hmm, difficult, huh? Difficult to prevent. Knight f4 is an idea. Probably well played, yeah. Um, the book uh, where I learned that Shigorin line uh, that, that I don't want to play anymore is from uh, Michal Marin, the Romanian Grandmaster. It's, I think, a Spanish repertoire for black or something like that. Knight to e5, interesting. Hmm. And yeah, knight f4 is irritating me. And knight g4. Oh, knight g4 is actually now a move in some cases. Huh, okay. I was thinking g3, but yes, knight g4. Very nice. Okay, I'm returning. Um, are there any questions here? No, not really. Okay, so what to do now? Maybe that g3 move. Not so happy with it, but I think he played that rather well. Maybe that bishop h6 and let him take there wasn't so great. Maybe I should have taken on f8. It was probably better. My development here is not good good at all. Yeah, I think he probably has some dynamic ideas. B5 maybe or things like that. That could that could work. Okay, that's not so threatening, at least first sight. He's probably intending, I don't know what, f5? Yeah, I can actually consider f5 now, but I don't want to. I'd rather play b4 here. Yes, 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 but this is also weakening quite a bit. Oh, knight f5, ah, knight f5, knight d4. Ooh, why didn't I see that quickly, quicker? Hmm, doesn't do it. Interesting, okay. Very interesting. Man, now I should be okay, really. This, okay, then the, the king is going to the side anyway. Okay, let's go knight c4. That's the most obvious move and probably not bad. Just attack this. Okay, he's got knight f5, but I think it's not bad to get this in first. Okay. 
Okay, um, where to go with the queen? Yeah, the knight on d4 is, is always a pest, it really is. Hmm. I want the bishop on c4, absolutely. Hmm. Ah, very tough. Uh, maybe hmm, he did. Uh, I think he probably has to take on b6. No, just no. Okay. Um, the knight where do you go with your bishop back okay I have d6 but yeah okay d6 is not particularly great looking move I can go to a8 yeah you can go to a8 hmm yeah d6 is opening up his his position rather than ah, shoot I don't see a good move now time warning maybe this yeah going looking at the e4 pawn I can now take this why not Bishop d5, I don't know. <sighs> very, very chaotic position, which very likely is good for white, but it's it's so complicated that kind of anything can happen. Queen d4, he's attacking f2. Yeah, it's not, I can, I can take d5, bishop c4, but it's not exactly what I wanted. Hmm. Shoot. And now knight e4. Ah, that's stupid. He gets to take f2, right? That was stupid. Oh, he didn't do it. Hmm. Why not? I have no idea. I can still play knight e4 maybe. Oh. I can still do that. No, this one. Don't understand a single move here. Check. Stand. Check. Black resigns. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. Um, there was some some stream issue. I'm I don't actually think that this is my end. I have cleared um, space and the my Game overall internet started. connection is pretty strong, pretty good. Okay, playing Lufus, that's a very high rated, um, a very high rated person. So let's see what he's doing here, yeah? some English opening. 
2600 yeah you don't see that too often um, castles maybe at the, I actually this is an opening that I have played with white and uh, forgotten most of it <laughs> After three rounds, do I think that Aronian can win the candidates? Yeah, of course. Eh? I sure. think he's got a good start. He has got a win in against Topalov. Um, and uh, he looks looks okay what he's doing, eh? I think. That's not a brand new account. Eh? It's not a cheating account. There's a best of chess explained video. Yeah, I, I, I think someone sent me a link to that once, but I don't I don't watch my own videos I really don't okay let's go back now okay knight is six maybe not but now nah, okay it's it still feels kind of okay let's bring the knight over to this It's not a bad knight placement. I think Lufus normally has an American flag, but currently not. <laughs> I don't know, it's got some... Yeah, that's true. Well, my score is not bad. I've got one game, one win. Okay, Rook B2, I'll just do the normal stuff here. You just play normal moves. I don't know. Yeah, that looks like a pretty solid position here for, for black. Why doesn't have a clear way forward him? On knight b3, I will probably just play b6 and let him capture on c5. It's very difficult to make any progress. I can also play knight a4 if he plays knight b3. Okay, this is some way forward. Uh, okay, I can play bishop a4 also. Let's do that start with that move now grab the grab the exchange yeah this is not objectively enough I guess but it's it's interesting in blitz chess definitely okay um where do I go Yeah, it's com it's definitely some comp some compensation. To e five or to f six, I guess to f six. Can take c seven, but I can take c three, which I'm not sure is great. Rook c eight does knight e seven. That's a bad idea. And, uh, yeah, but t taking c3 looks kind of shaky here. I'd like to get my bishop somehow into the game, but I don't see how. Well, okay, I don't see how he refuse that at the moment. Maybe he has some refutation, but... Yeah. 
Ooh, tough position. What is he doing now? Queen G, no, Queen G4, maybe. Yeah, Knight H6 is now a threat. So just go back. Huh? Hmm. Didn't see that move coming. Still can't go rook c8. I don't have no good move. I didn't see that one. Yeah, it was a shame. I should have played probably b6 and prevent that rook b7 altogether. It's probably not that great, but uh, it made my life much more difficult than, than necessary. Before that, black's position was very comfortable. Okay. Hmm, not sure what, what this is about. Knight to d5 maybe. Check. And now rook c8 is actually made. Ah, that was stupid. Anyway. There was a that was a bad game. I don't want to analyze in blitz in the in those games much, but um, I think I should probably just play b6 and this is just totally fine for black. Black is just better in this position. I've got the better structure and white has no compensation. He's got the rooks lined up against nothing. And well, this is not great, but I completely misplayed it. What is the best way to do it? The engine wants to do this and just play here, kick him back. That's probably good. Anyway, let's go for a new game. The positive thing is if you lose against someone with 2600, you don't lose many rating points. <laughs> game started. Okay, let's play making no sense. I'm kicking off with 1e4 for a change. Yeah, I'm going to play the open Sicilian, which is always funny because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, knight g4 maybe. That could have been, was probably, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was probably not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the problem is this is not even good. This is absolutely, absolutely rubbish now because I have no move. On a bishop move, there's queen to b6. Okay. Ah, bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> now I have to play this rotten position. Can only hope for tricks. Ah, like knight e5, queen h5. This is actually a good trick. But, um, yeah, okay, so queen h5, I guess. So that he is forced to play g6. I uh, maybe forced, yeah, I don't know, close to g6. So, what now? Maybe back here. Yeah, I totally hate this position, but uh, it is just the consequence of my, my bad opening play. Bishop e3 was just too, too quickly played. So what now? Maybe I can do this. 
and now this is played yeah I have to be very quick here I cannot waste any time the only thing that I have is better development so I don't care if he gets yet another bishop Hmm. So he allows me to take d6. Yeah, well, he's got queen c7, things like that. Definitely true, yeah. It's, a, it's an absolutely terrible position. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe this one. Yeah, the sh yeah, yeah. There's a remark that I should adjust the screws on my, my desk. Yeah, probably. I hoped it uh, it uh, has gotten better after my move, but kind of it didn't. <laughs> yeah, d6 is hanging. Uh, the, the the bad part is even if he just gives me the pawn, his position is better because of my absolutely terrible structure. That move bishop b3 is just completely terrible, absolutely terrible move. Okay, let's see what he does. Black can just castle, for example, and this is not bad at all. Maybe it's not the best move, but it's something that he can do. He can also take f3 here. Check. Yeah, rook takes and bishop e5. I mean, I can take with the g pawn. Maybe I should, right? Hmm. This is not that clear. Probably it's still not good, but it uh, it felt like worse before. Is he going bishop f8? No. Okay, I'm not trading queens in this position. That much is clear. Okay, c3 is hanging. <laughs> c4 is an, is an amazingly ugly move. <laughs> but maybe I can just get the d6 pawn like that. Here I've got queen c3 possible and possible and f4, f4, e5. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, or is he going b5 now? I was thinking I have e5, but maybe I'm wrong there. It's very much possible. b5 looks kind of awkward. Oh, looks very awkward. Yeah, and he's seeing it. Ah, stupid stuff. I was thinking I have e5, but of course I don't. I mean, I have, I can play it, but um, it's not what I wanted to do. Or what I was hoping for the result, let's say. Check. Okay, Check. so I'm taking this, I'm taking this, and at least I'm not strategically lost, but still, not what I was hoping for. Bishop takes, I guess, I'm not sure what he's doing here. Okay, you can, you can take with a pawn, it's not terrible, but still not what I expected. Okay, it's going back. Interesting. Uh, 
Um, I'm a pawn down here. I didn't even see that. That's cool. <laughs> this is very relaxed, right? Go into an endgame, a pawn down without realizing you're a pawn down. I didn't see that. I was thinking it's equal material. But okay, the good thing is that... Is that... Um, Check. My position is still relatively solid. Uh, I cannot go rook b7 though. That's a shame. That's what I wanted to do. Why can I not do what I wanted to do? Mm, very bad. Ugh. Yeah, rook a3 is a complete joke of a move. I cannot do that. I have to. Time warning. Ah, he wants to play fancy stuff now. But I always love that if they play fancy stuff. Instead of being content what they have, want to be fancy. Yeah, I mean, he can do that. It's not like it's bad. Okay. This is a self trap of my rook. Not a good idea. Check. Very nice endgame play here. Yeah, he's zoot swanging me just like that. Check. Check. Yeah. It's kind of a waste of time, right? White I didn't even see that I was a pawn down there. And I really played it badly. I think here the worst was definitely over. And it was a bad play. Queen c3 in particular was terrible. I think here I'm okay with his wacky king here. I know that this looks terrible, but this is not so bad. Okay, anyway. Let's shoot for a new game. He played that. He played the technical part started. quite well. Playing Moscarita. Who the heck is that? Someone wants me to Gajinsko f4. I never play one f3. No, that's I mean, f4 maybe. I mean, I don't really like it. But uh, Miguel Mosquera. I never played him. If he goes e5, I will probably play the King's Gambit. <laughs> Knight f6. Okay. So we get the, that, what is that called? The polar bear. I'll just play it like this. Yeah, that's definitely a playable, playable position here for white. Hmm, that looks weird. Okay, I'll just, I'll just shoot and ask questions later. This one, okay. Weird setup, very weird setup. A black. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't believe in it. Wow. That looks. 
quite questionable, Mr. Moscarita. We'll see, but okay. So this looks normal, threatening to take on g6. What? You just allow that, yeah? You're a very cool guy. You can just allow that. Cool. Maybe. So I can check here and it doesn't it's supposed to mean nothing. Maybe that's the case. Yeah, interesting. I don't think there's a grizzly bear opening. Oh, it's a question. When when I will be playing next against S SG Ports, German German team that uh, beat my club eight z eight eight to nil. <laughs> eight to nil. That was really really pretty um, pretty bad loss for my team. Well, okay, but it can happen against such a strong strong opposing squad. Okay, so we got into an ending, which is not bad. A bit surprised that he just just goes for that, and I mean it's just a bad ending for black. Unless I'm totally not understanding things, I can maybe he can take play knight f4, take rook f8, knight f4. Okay, that that's probably a draw. Hmm. Why is he not just instantly taking on f2? Those kind of things always irritate me. It's the totally obvious move and somehow he doesn't play it. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's got he's got that knight f4 idea. Or is he going for bishop f4 even here? Maybe. I'll go here. It's a bit of a shame, knight f4, but okay. he doing here? I mean, he should be absolutely happy with drawing after knight f4. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Bishop f4, but well, I can even I can just move it away to e1 or somewhere. Kind of kind of weird. Yeah, black is thinking <laughs> for a long time, which irritates me quite a bit. What is his idea? Is he disconnected? I don't think so. We can check. Oh. Maybe I am disconnected. <laughs> I currently don't get a reply here with F with my commands. Hmm. I could be disconnected. Nope. Hmm, what happened there? There was a weird connection glitch. Okay, I'll just move it and ask things later. Couldn't take here. 
Knight g7, maybe, I don't know. Time warning. Yeah, I lost lots of time. There was a connection issue on my end, which is a bit of a shame. The position was totally okay, I think. Not sure here, but I definitely, it was okay before. I mean, I don't, don't see anything terrible happening here either. But um, it generally helps to have more time. Check. Um, where are you going with this, Mr. Moscarito? Moscarita? I don't see it. Where are you going? There. Yeah. It's a bit difficult to, to do much here with for, for me. Take here? No, probably not. I can go back. With this time situation, that's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, the 20 seconds is the real problem. The position is okay, of course. Yeah, that, that game was basically decided by the by the connection. It's not not even even a problem here, I think. Check. Check. White forfeits on time. Yeah. Anyway, B seven and everything's fine here. But um, I had I lost more than a minute with the disconnect. Yeah, a bit of a low note of the of that of that end. Really don't like to end like that. But uh, I still am even below two thousand four hundred. That sucks. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play one more. Yeah, if nobody is uh, kind of objecting to that. Uh, yeah, it was that was a shame. Yeah? I mean, because in that end game here. Black has absolutely zilch, yeah, absolutely nothing. And then I lost here, yeah? I lost more than one minute over that move. And um, yeah, I mean, he he actually tried very hard to be worse. And um, this is always kind of kind of a shame that you cannot do it with um, with that time. Then anyway, let's hope I get a game now. I don't want to wait like game. Started. Okay, let's uh, see if I can win against Mr. Spandos here to get back to 2400. Uh, 
and not knight a5. <laughs> I keep playing this automatically, yeah, just because of my, my history with the move. I won't play three more games, that will be a bit too long, I think. I'm also screwing up the overall ICC schedule, I think, if I would uh, would go for that. Bishop d3 here, okay, that's not very common, I think. But okay, this is, the Breyer is, I'm still playing this by ear. Okay, hmm. so c4 here or not? Probably, I can also go b4, just shut the whole thing down. But I think given the chance, I'll play c4. Okay, is he shooting for f4 here? That would be surprising. I mean, currently you cannot, cannot do it anyway. Okay, so um, here. Let me go back for bishop f6 and bishop g5, trying to get rid of the dark squared bishop. Okay, here I have to, I have to leave her immediately and get this traded. Yeah, bishop g5, he can take on c5. This is always interesting. I never really know what to make of that trade. I'm not very afraid of it, but still. Okay, I'll keep this under control. My bishop, my queen, queen d2 was, I was more afraid of queen d2. Rook a1 now. Now he's playing that okay, right? He's playing that okay. Hmm. Bishop c8, mm, yeah, I don't like it. It's probably not terrible for me, but not ideal. At least I was quick about it. I was quick about it. No, I never play the martial attack. I think the martial is, an, is a terribly impractical opening for, for most players. For professionals, it's cool, but for normal people, I think it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's tons of work. It really is. It's tons of work to, to get it to a reasonable level. Uh, and then you never get it on the board because they play all kinds of wacky sidelines. And I don't, I don't see the point really. And many lines are just very drawish. That's also something that can be a problem in, um, at a certain level. Okay. See aiming, where is he going with this? Not sure about it. I don't think that this ending can be a problem. I'm going all the way to g5. Maybe I cannot do something positive. That's possible, but I don't have any problem here. The Breyer and the Sidesef are rather different. There can be there can be some um, transpositions, but rather rarely. Yeah, hmm, that will be very difficult to do something with. G some G. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, not happy with that, but check. Hmm, I'm a 
bit surprised that he did that. But okay, we'll see what happens. Maybe I should have. No, nah, that's okay. I thought bishop h3 maybe, but. Pin. I'm pinning. Pin and win, but I'm not sure that this is a pin and win situation. Bishop f4. I wonder, I wonder if I, in this position, if I take and play bishop f4, hmm, do I win this? This, this, this. It could be winning, actually. I'll try this. I'm not sure if it's a draw. Okay, what the heck. Yeah, I'm getting the c3 pawn, which means two connected passes. Maybe he can stop it. Yeah? It's really possible. Or can stop them, the pawns, I mean. Check. That didn't help. So, back here. So, I can invade now, right? Full scale invasion, NC3 wins, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm Life winning this. Resigns. So I got to precisely 2400 at the end of the stream. That's good. <laughs> okay, so I think um, it's better to end the whole thing with a win than with some stupid loss that was mostly due to a disconnect. I hope you enjoyed the stream. There wasn't that much action in the chat at the end. Maybe we had a little bit less. Um, spectators today uh, from Europe due to the time change. I'm very happy about all the regulars uh, coming for the stream. Thank you all for watching and participating in the chat. Bye bye till next week. <laughs>